So what's up guys, how are you not doing? Welcome back to Sanger Boy Gardens Link. I hope you guys are doing okay. Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So try as much as possible to like the video and uh, as you watch, leave your comment. You know, today is 31st, eh? the last day of the month. And we, we, we are supposed to do the giveaway today, but we're just going to wait till tomorrow or Monday where everyone will be complete in the studio so we can do the giveaway. So guys, uh, be patient with us. The monthly giveaway is coming tomorrow, so just be patient, be patient, be patient, guys. And meanwhile, guys, uh, I have a lot to discuss here. Of course, you saw the title of this video. You saw uh, Tyler, the Grammy Award winner. Of course, you saw Arasta as well, and also Rema and Charlie Poppy. But first, let's start with Arasta. Arasta dropped a single, one of his, the biggest song last year, Rush. After the much success from that uh, single, she decided to spread. She decided to spread the love. And guess what she did? She decided to provide drinkable water for her community. You know, this is the kind of charity that I want to see people doing. This is the kind of charity I want to see our artists actually doing. Install boreholes for Ori Molade Ifuko community in Lagos State. And of course, you can saw the tag. Well, let me read the tag. According to the tag, they say Ori Molade Community Water Project donated by Aria Star in the Rush Community Outreach, a partnership with Hope Spring Water Charity Foundation. At least this thing, this this uh, this uh, project alone will run out close to like uh, five to six million naira. So it is not easy. It is not easy. This is the kind of thing I want our entertainers to be doing: putting a project in your whole community that will stand the test of time. Putting a project in your community that we benefit others many 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 years to come see instead of one artist going on stage to dash somebody 20 million naira 5 million naira 2 million naira honestly this is way more profitable when it comes to blessings this is way more profitable when it comes to the house of god if you are seeking blessings from god this is way more profitable than someone that gives 20 million naira to one hype man may not know what he wants to do. Or give 5 million naira to one girl on stage. Or give any of those no that all the spray money as your car moves. This is way more profitable. Just imagine. It's not going to this water project will not benefit the community alone. A passerby who is thirsty, a passerby can just branch and just drink water. That is a blessing. A blessing that will go on for generation, generation, generation. I'm telling the truth. That will touch the lives of people. Directly and indirectly. Come on, then. This is a blessing. A blessing that is worth more than $100 billion. I'm telling you the truth. A blessing that is worth more than $100 billion. Not that our entertainers going around spraying money. I just start guessing, so honestly. Guesses well. Man, you did well, Arasta. You did well. You did well. Ejo, you did well. This is the kind of project we want to see. A project that will benefit. No be all those uh, club goers. No be all those concert goers that will just give money to take. Nah, nah, nah. This is the kind of project that I want to see. Arasta, you did well. Arasta, you did well. And God will continue to bless you. She did well, honestly. This is countless blessings. Countless blessings. You don't know the meaning of water. In fact, 
In our, in my religion, it's advisable. If someone visits you, the first thing you should offer that person first is water. Water no get any meal. In fact, if that person, if that person bring bad belly come your house, if that person come with the intention of harming you, offer that person water. I tell you, whatever that person, whatever that person want to plant in, plant in your house will not work. Seriously, you think I'm joking? Try it. Whatever, water no get any meal. Offer that person water, even before you offer that person beer, before you offer that person month, before you offer that person food, offer that person water. Let that person drink first. Well, that being said, let's go back to, uh, let's uh, talk about Rema and uh, Charlie Poppy. Six years, Rema decided to come to his motherland, Edo State, with Another Edo born, that is uh, Charlie Poppy, which I'm really happy about. Though. Really, really happy about. They came there to shoot a music video and also had the time to uh, move around. Uh, they visited the Edo State Governor, who, of course, hosted them. And they did well. Remember, I was the star of the day. Charlie Poppy already visited the Edo State Governor before now. So Rema just decided to, you know, just to say do his own as well. But one of the crazy things that they highlight about, I like the way they are going around at least, showing, showcasing there's a state in Nigeria called Edo State. And don't forget the full meaning of Edo State, the heartbeat of Nigeria. Like, the heartbeat of Nigeria, like it's really, really, really important. I love what they did though showcasing our culture and i hope in their music video it will most definitely showcase uh the edo culture very very well i love how they visited and everything but one thing i know they like again eh, for this matter be said no they spray money stop throwing money in the street stop throwing money in the street let them tag you as uh, being uh, stingy good and fine but stop throwing money in the street. I will never be a fan of artists throwing money in the street. I will never be a fan of it. Let me be honest. You guys know me. I'm not a fan of that now. I have criticized it when it comes to David O. Criticized it when it comes to Whiskey and Ego Bonner. But I've been criticizing it for a long time now. No. Don't throw money in the street. There are better ways to give out money. There is, I believe all those entertainers say, they do not have the zeal to give. Do you know it takes, it takes more than somebody who knows how to give to erect a project in this community? He has the money, he can easily just dash out the money. But to erect a project in his community is really, really hard because it takes time, it takes planning and everything. No one wants to go through that. They just want to just, I bet take money, John. Take, take, take. They can, they can, artists that I know of, eh, they can decide to spray 5 million naira just throwing it in the street. Then spending 2 million naira to dig a well. Yeah, they can just decide to spray 5 to 10 million naira in the street because it's very, very easy than spending two million naira to dig a boil well in their community. Yeah. Well, big up to Arya Star and big up to Rema and Charlie Poppy, but stop throwing money in the street. I mean, well, let's talk about uh, Tyler, the Grammy Award winner. So Tyler decided to go to a country, South Africa, of course, and she was welcomed really, really, really well. In fact, I don't think we even welcome our own uh, Bonner Boy when he won Grammy as at that time. She was welcomed well and uh, given a standing innovation. The Minister of Tourism of South Africa welcomed her at the airport. And uh, of course, you can see the crazy stuff that was happening there. Tyler didn't allow him to touch the Grammy. Reasons best known to her, honestly. Reasons best known to her. 
reasons best not to have. Because if I'm the one that won the Grammy Award, or obviously if in the uh, uh, coming to Nigeria, I wouldn't even allow any politician to touch that Grammy <laughs> because of the, my personal beef with them. Because of I just feel like they are not doing well. They are not uh, carrying this country well. So maybe that's exactly how Tyler was feeling. Like, come on, man! I don't want your dirty hands to touch this Grammy. You guys are horrible. You guys are this and that and this and that. You know, that maybe that's what she was feeling. That's why she never allowed them to touch that Grammy. Who knows? You know, these politicians are dirty. Really, really dirty. With their intention and with ever trying to be in the middle of the limelight. You didn't win the Grammy. You weren't there. You never assisted in any way. Now, the young girl has won Grammy. You just come out with your dirty hand to touch your Grammy. Get out of there. I think that's exactly what uh, Tyler meant. Get out of there. Stop, don't touch my Grammy. Well, thank you guys for watching the boy, Adam Sling. I'll catch you next time. Peace.